Hi, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to install Windows Server on your VPS hosting with RootPal. It's very easy and a lot of companies don't allow Windows Server to be installed on VPS hosting. However, at RootPal we do and I'm going to be showing you how to do that right now. So when you purchase VPS hosting with RootPal, it's going to give you the option to choose from a variety of different operating systems that will not be Windows Server. Windows Server is not a default option. These are the default options you'll be able to pick. So when you purchase a Windows, uh, when you purchase a VPS hosting through RootPal, you need to select Debian or CentOS or Ubuntu. And then after five minutes, your server will be provisioned, set up, emailed to you, and then you can access it in your client portal under my services and click on your plan, your tier one plan or whatever tier version you have. And then you can come over and go to ISO images and mount a different ISO to install Windows Server. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna go to ISO images and we're gonna mount Windows Server. Um, I'm not gonna search it. I'm just gonna go to the last page. And we have a bunch of different versions and languages. So we have to do, we do have Windows Server 2022 available, the ISOs you can attach, uh, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna do, I'm, I'm comfortable with Windows Server 2019, so we're gonna pick that one. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna mount this image. So I'm gonna click Mount ISO Image. And I'm gonna click Confirm. And what this does is it mounts the ISO image to the virtual machine. And now it says the process has been started successfully. So that's great. We're going to go to information. See if it's mounting the image still on their status. Nope, it is running. So we're going to go. Now I'm going to reboot. Click OK. This will reboot the virtual machine. And what we're going to do now that it's rebooting, it's pro it's pretty fast because it's on NVMe drives and they're very powerful CPUs. I think we're using Epic CPUs, AMD Epic, the newest, best CPUs you could purchase. And we're going to go to the console page. I just opened it up in a new, a new tab and it should show the Windows server sc uh, setup screen. There we go. That's how quick it is. So now we're going to click next, install now. And here's where the tricky part comes in. So we're going to click desktop experience because we want to be able to RDP into it, remote desktop into the virtual server. Standard will not have a, a GUI desktop experience. It's just um, Windows Server uh, core. So we're going to do the desktop experience. Click accept. Click custom. And we're not going to see the drives and I'll show you why. So what we need to do is we need to go back to ISO images. And we need to type in vert enter. And we're going to attach this ISO, which is the vert IO win. ISO, which is the drivers it needs to install Windows Server on this VPS. So we're going to mount this image right here. Click Mount ISO image. Confirm. All right. And now we're going to go back to load driver. OK. And there we go. It loaded the drivers. So now we're going to choose 2K19, which is right here. Um, you can see 2K16, 2K12R2, 2K12. Um, we have 2K19, so we're just going to select that one and click Next. It's going to install the driver.
and there's our partitions. So now we're gonna delete these partitions because it was, it did install Debian before and we don't care about Debian and we're just gonna install it. So we gotta delete these. It's a little laggy on the VP, the, the console page for the KVM, but it's okay. It's not that bad. Now it's not gonna let you click next because what we need to do is we need to go back to our ISO images, type in Windows Server, and we need to remount the Windows uh, server image that we just remounted, or we just mounted before. So remember which remember which uh, image you mounted. So we mounted this one. We're gonna remount it again because it unmounted it when we did the vert IO image. So now we're gonna click OK right here. It's gonna mount the Windows Server 2019 English image again. Now that it's mounted, we're gonna go back here. We're gonna refresh. and it should be able to click it. There you go. Now we're gonna click next and we're good to go. It's installing the Windows Server um, on our VPS hosting. So this should also go really quick because it is a VPS, installing Windows is pretty quick and we use the fastest NVMe drives. You can see how fast it's going. This is very expensive, uh, very, very fast. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video while it's installing and come back to it when it's done. All right, so it finished. It took around two minutes to fully install, very quick. And it rebooted automatically and now Windows is gonna be coming up in a second. Now it's gonna ask us to set a password. And yes, you have to do this through the, the console still until you set a password. Finish. And there we go. So now we can RDP into it. Actually, hold on, we won't be able to. Let me check this real quick. So there's one last step we have to do. We have to load the ethernet drivers to access our server. So we're gonna click this send control out delete button and we're gonna log in with the password we just set. And I'm gonna have our developers see if we can in, uh, fix the sizing of this um, KVM console so we can make it a little bit bigger. So you, it won't be hard as hard to um, navigate, but I mean, it's not that hard. So we're gonna click start, type in device manager. And the search function is probably not gonna work right away because this happens every time you set up Windows. Um, it's syncing and scanning everything so sometimes this doesn't immediately work if we go to start windows accessories our administrative tools All right, that's not popping up. So we're gonna have to do it the administrative tool way. And there's the ethernet controller, which we right click, update driver, browse my computer, browse. So we have to do one more thing. We have to mount that vert win ISO image one more time. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. So 
type invert. Mount it. Now let's see if it pops up. There you go. Whoops. We're going to click this. Go to net KVM. We're going to click 2K19. Click AMD. Click OK. Click Next. Click Install for the Ethernet adapter. And there we go. Click Yes right here. And now we have Ethernet. So now we can RDP. And we don't have to use the console anymore. So let me pull that up real quick. Get your IP address right here. Pull up RDP, click connect. Oh, one more last thing <laughs> before we can actually RDP into it. And a lot of people won't tell you this because you'll be like, oh, why can't I RDP? We're gonna open up this, right click my PC. We're gonna go to properties, remote settings. And we're gonna allow remote connections to this computer. Click okay, click apply. Now let's try to RDP one more time. There we go. Now we type in administrator and our password click yes and there we go we are fully in our windows server and now we can start making changes and it's pretty quick now look it's like we're actually on the instance now Perfect. Now we have our Windows server we can remote into and log into and have our Windows uh, PC. And the desktop experience um, is basically like Windows 10, Windows, you know, it's like a Windows experience. It's like Windows 10, so everything, but it's more powerful because the it's better to run Windows server than Windows 10 because win, window uh, system updates aren't forced like Windows 10, so if you're running you know, software or apps that need to run forever, or you're running, you know, maybe you're doing stocking, stock trading or Forex trading, whatever you're doing, you can run it with the Windows server like this. Um, these other ones, I don't think you need to um, update, you know, install or whatever or update. You can, I think you can just update driver um, and do the same thing right here. Click next. Uh, no, I don't think we need to do that. Yeah. So it doesn't look like we need to do anything else. Once we have the the Ethernet drivers, we're good to go. And now we can, you know, RDP and we can copy. What I like to do is I like to, and I'm going to teach you one more trick. I like to download Google Chrome on my computer. And what I do is I copy and paste the setup. And you can see I've done that a lot. I copy and paste the Chrome setup right here, and then I install it right here. And the reason I don't go to this browser is because it has a bunch of different um, security things that will you have to enable and play with. And it's just better to copy and paste your browser, uh, the setup, the Chrome setup here, and install it so that you don't have to deal with all that stuff that the Internet Explorer has. However, remember when you install Windows, when you install Chrome, yes, you can go to uh, 
you know, you can go to any website and you don't have any of those security things saying you need to verify and verify this link or whatever when you're using IE. But remember, um, it is very scary, you know, to have your Windows server get compromised if it's doing some important stuff. So don't go, um, you know, be careful which websites you're visiting where you could compromise your Windows server. But that's it. That's how you install Windows Server and get it set up on RuPaul's VPS hosting. If you need help setting it up, this is managed hosting. Please contact us and create a support ticket and we will help you set up your Windows Server on your VPS hosting. Thank you and stay tuned for more tutorials.